Hey tennis fans, I'm Blair Henley and welcome to the Tennis Now Countdown Show. Olympic tennis may be over, but we're not quite ready to let go of what turned out to be an amazing and inspiring week of professional tennis. So we're counting down the top trends at the London Games for your viewing pleasure. Number 9. The sun was shining on the Olympic tennis tournament, literally. While we barely got a glimpse of that bright shiny orb during Wimbledon, players got a healthy dose of vitamin D for their Olympic effort. Number 8. Pink. Or was it purple, or fuchsia, or magenta? One can't be too sure, but whatever color covered the backdrops at Wimbledon, we actually liked it for a change. Number seven. It seemed like every time we caught a glimpse of the crowd at Wimbledon, we saw dedicated fans who decided face paint would be the best way to show their support. Some efforts were more impressive than others, but we applaud their dedication. Number six. Faces weren't the only things being painted in London. We also had some pretty impressive nail designs going on, and tennis players turned out to be the most subdued of the bunch. Who knew Olympics would create a windfall for manicurists? Number 5. The Serbian contingent didn't fare too well at the Olympics, with Jelena Jankovic losing in the first round, Anna Ivanovic losing in the second round, Janko Tipsarevic losing in the third round, and Novak Djokovic failing to medal. Their doubles effort was pretty horrific as well. Better luck next time, Serbia. Number 4. We love seeing players in custom-made uniforms but some countries did it better than others. Laura Robson and Andy Murray looked great as a team, and we especially liked Murray's patriotic sweatbands. The women's doubles finalists were not so fortunate. The Czech team's warm-ups were, well, interesting. And Rafael Nadal may have been glad he didn't make the opening ceremonies after seeing the Spanish uniforms. Yikes. Number three. There are always some pretty big time fans filling the stands at Wimbledon, but the famous people at the Olympified Wimbledon had a little more edge. Comedian and author Chelsea Handler cheered on Maria Sharapova in her box, Kobe Bryant watched Federer's amazing win over Del Potro, and even hockey player Yaramir Yager made an appearance. To top it all off, the attending royals participated in the wave. Craziness! Number 2. The warm fuzzies were in full force during the Olympic tennis tournament as players battled each other for king and country, or something like that. Juan Martín Del Potro said he was the happiest man in the world after beating Novak Djokovic for the bronze, and he may have even shed a few tears. The Bryan brothers said their gold medal win was the best of their careers, and Andy Murray said the whole week at the Olympics was the best of his career. And number one. The average age of the five Americans who made it to at least the semifinals of their event ran into an astounding 34 years old. Youngsters Christina McHale, Donald Young, and Ryan Harrison were sent packing early on. Maybe 30 really is the new 20. And that's all for today's Tennis Now Countdown show. What made your list? Let us know in the comment section below or on Facebook and Twitter. We'll see you next time here on Tennis Now.